Now we discuss in detail the wave nature of the electromagnetic waves. The wave nature of electromagnetic waves and and go into some depth of it. We discuss this while discussing the the drawback of the Rutherford's model. Wave nature of electromagnetic waves. Now I'll also show you an electromagnetic wave. It moves. As I told you, it was a very innocent and incisive question by by Maxwell that that led to the discovery of electromagnetic waves and 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 somehow, as I said, the the electricity and the, the electricity and magnetism and and light they got they got unified in this theory right so it was coming together of of electricity <coughs> and magnetism and light <coughs> okay as as i told you it was found out that the that the speed of the electromagnetic wave was equal to the speed of light and and that that mystery was removed when we came to know that light itself is an electromagnetic wave right <coughs> Now, as I told you, that an accelerated, accelerated, accelerated charged particle, charged particle actually will produce a field that is changing. So it led to a varying electric field, electric field. It is a vector, that's why the vector sign. And this led to, this led to an a, a, a varying magnetic field, varying magnetic field and magnetic field that is that is represented by B and, and this led us back to a varying electric field. Okay? And this self-sustained oscillation was what was thought to be called an electromagnetic wave. So so, so the, the self-sustained the self sustained oscillation the self sustained electric field and magnetic field which is which is represented by b b <coughs> electric field and 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 o s c i o s c i oscillation oscillation is called is called an electromagnetic wave it's called an electromagnetic electromagnetic magnetic wave correct in short e m w now now the the e and b they are perpendicular to each other so electric field waves and the magnetic field waves they are perpendicular to each other okay and, and and in what manner okay so 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 I'd, I'd like you to see that so so we have an electromagnetic wave here for you okay so 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 this this blue one okay the the, the blue thing that you can see here the blue one this is the electric component of it Okay, this is the electric component. It goes like that. And perpendicular to it, okay, the red one. Okay, you can see it is perpendicular. It, it, it's going like that. When, when this field is, when this electric field is in this plane, this, this field is going like that and then horizontally coming back like that. When, when the electric field is going down, this has, this has come to our side and then it has again gone back there the electric field has come up okay and the direction of movement so 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 what we say is is this the 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 number one observation was the number one observation was that that the the electric field and the magnetic field are perpendicular to each other 
or perpendicular to each other right that's our that's our first observation correct the the, the first observation let me let me erase this otherwise it gives a 3d kind of effect so so the first thing is that e and b are perpendicular to each other and each of them are oscillating right <clears throat> and second is that e um w unlike the sound waves or the transverse waves they can travel in vacuum in vacuum in vacuum and do not require require a medium to travel a medium to to travel right now that was also something that shocked the community the scientific community of that time so much so that for next 20 years we were not uh, able to come to terms with the fact that uh, a wave can travel in in vacuum okay but light was indeed traveling in vacuum otherwise how, how would it reach to you from from the sun which was located some about about 150 million uh, million kilometers away that's about eight and a half light minutes okay so so apart from those 400 kilometers that you may call has some matter atmosphere there's nothing in between right so so you had to the moment light became an electromagnetic wave you had to accept that electromagnetic waves do travel through vacuum otherwise no light would have been possible on the earth right that's the second thing okay and and the third thing is that it's, it's not only light and light not only has one component as was shown by newton by his dispersion experiments it also has seven colors to it so not only that it is not only that the visible light is an electromagnetic wave there is a whole there there is an electromagnetic there is an electromagnetic spectrum there is an electromagnetic spectrum and what do we mean that means electromagnetic spectrum of varying frequency of varying varying frequency and and wavelength right frequency and wavelength which we call which we call call electromagnetic spectrum electro electro magnetic magnetic spectrum okay Now it is interesting to, to, to look at that spectrum and this is the spectrum that I'm talking about. Our, our frequency frequency is, is denoted either by F or, or by a word new more by this as you move ahead. Okay, it looks like like V but it is not because because this end is made pointed and and one of them one of the the arms of one of those those prongs that, that is made smaller than the other one right while in v you have a bend here and a smooth curvature here and something like that do you see that but maybe at times when you when at a glance you look at even the book okay it gives you an impression that that is v so so be careful okay we cannot be as casual as we were so so this is what is new okay and and the wavelength wavelength is represented by by another greek notation called lambda okay this is pronounced lam lambda okay and and this is the, this is nothing but but new okay not mu okay there is another word mu which is like this and and this is mu so we are not talking about this we are not talking about this this is new okay and we have we have seen that the velocity of a wave is equal to its frequency mu multiplied by lambda okay now in case of electromagnetic waves this velocity v is nothing but 
see the speed of light in vacuum and this is equal to nu into lambda so nu and lambda cannot be independent they are related in such a manner that their product has to be equal to the speed of light if we are talking about the 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 nu and lambda of an electromagnetic wave that is okay so so they are not independent now now just look at this figure here we have we have a whole range of waves from here to there okay and and this thing this thing is wavelength here we have the wavelength this is your wavelength scale and wavelength increases like that okay so so it increases from right to left okay the 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 wavelength the wavelength the wavelength decreases from i'm i'm, I'm sorry the wavelength the wavelength decreases okay from left to right so so it actually actually increases so so, so so it increases like this okay increases from here to here this is how my wavelength is increasing okay now now you see new is equal to c upon lambda if wavelength is increasing this way then my frequency is decreasing this way right if wavelength goes up then frequency goes down is it not correct so from left to right the, the direction in which the wavelength is increasing the frequency is decreasing so what is in what direction is the frequency increasing the frequency is increasing from here to there in the opposite direction they cannot both increase in the same direction right correct they are inversely proportional to each other so if one increases the other has to decrease now now let me come to this this is an interesting thing am this is am wave amplitude modulated wave this is amplitude modulated wave amplitude modulated wave you you you'll uh, read about them in another full chapter of communications in class 12 okay what an am is okay then then these are short waves these are the waves that, that the, the waves from here to here you use for tv followed by that the waves that you use for fm okay this is called frequency modulation frequency modulated waves okay frequency modulates them then these are the waves that we use for radar okay this is radar and it seems they have not written it let me let me write it for you these are nothing but microwaves okay these are microwaves the radars emit the waves which are which are microwaves and, and it's an interesting story how the microwaves started there was a fellow in switzerland standing with a piece of chocolate in his hand and suddenly in that cold weather it melted right in his hand okay and he had no clue why it was happening because the weather was cold and he was not accustomed to the chocolates melting in the cold countries you can hold them in your hand and it will, be, it will remain like that unlike unlike the tropical countries like india where they melt in your hand okay now now the only thing that was changing there was that he was standing near to a radar now when he experimented it later he came to know that somehow due to the resonance of the water molecules inside the chocolate it was getting heated okay now that i will dis discuss in a separate video so so due to the resonance it was getting heated so he actually thought of making a miniature radar so that it could be used for for cooking in the kitchen okay and he was able to achieve that and that's why 
the the oven that you have at your home is called a microwave oven because it is actually using a form of of electromagnetic waves which are called microwaves okay so you can also call it a radar oven and you'll not be too too wrong okay so so these are microwaves and then we come to infrared that is also interesting why this is called infrared that you this 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 region is called infrared this means infra leads to means below something okay infra is below something what it is saying below red okay so let me discuss that this this infra infrared what what does it mean infra is below red infra is below below in what below in frequency to what red why because just just beyond this just beyond this what you see is the visible spectrum this is the visible spectrum the small thing and and they have amplified it to this okay they have actually magnified it so big okay this is the light that you are able to see okay and that light wavelength varies from 400 nanometer so your visible visible thing visible wavelength is is at at this end here okay what happens we are decreasing this way so increasing this way right so 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 we are increasing this way so decreasing this way so so this point this point i'm sorry so this point this point is is 700 nanometers 700 nanometers right Or, or, or around 750 nanometers, or or, or 750 nanometers. So, so let me erase this. Okay. So this is nothing but but 750 nanometers. Okay. And at the other end is 400 nanometers. The other end is 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 400 nanometers. This end. Okay, this end is 400 nanometers. Let me use magenta. This end is is 750 nanometers. This end is 400 nanometers. We are decreasing that way. In in the direction of arrow, we are increasing. So that is around 400 nanometers. This one, right? And there is a corresponding frequency related to that. Okay. So corresponding to that, you'll have you'll have the frequencies. Let me let me calculate the the corresponding frequency. So when when it is this, it is three into ten to the power eight upon. When it is seven fifty nanometers, is ten to the power minus nine. Okay. So what happens? This is easy to calculate. Uh, I, I'll transfer three zeros from here, so this becomes three thousand upon seven fifty into three. Three had come from here, so five was here, and five. So this becomes five plus nine, fourteen. So this becomes 4 into 10 to the power 14 hertz, right? So so corresponding to this, I have I have this is my lambda. The corresponding mu is 4 into 10 to the power 14 in in hertz. Okay, so much. And and when you are when you are at at instead of this, you are at at 400. So 3 into 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 10 to the power 8 divided by 400 into 10 to the power minus 9. What do I do? I I take again the the three of them, okay, and and it becomes 7.5 into 10 to the power 14, okay, because 3000 upon 400, 400 is 7.5. So so this becomes so 7.5. Into 10 to the power 14. So out of all, you are able to see only this minuscule, minuscule radiation wavelength band or or the frequency band. And apart from that, 
nothing else is visible to you right now on the on the right of this the, the 750 nm is your red this is your red right so 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 this red is at this end let me use a black pen. this this okay so here you have red at this point and this infrared is actually below that frequency that's why you are calling it infrared correct you see that to the right of us of, of we are talking about just this this small small let, let, let me let me paint that only this small window we are talking about right to the right of it is 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 red so 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 and and on this side i have lower frequency so this is called infrared this hole is called infrared and to the right of it here to the right of the of the visible spectrum the the frequency actually increases like this like this the frequency is increasing increasing and and near the violet it is the highest understand that is to the left of, of, of the spectrum. The way it is presented here, that is to the left. And, and here, this thing is ultra to the violet. Understand that? This is nothing but, this is nothing but ultra, ultra to the violet. Ultra means higher. Higher in what? Frequency. Okay, so ultra is higher we are talking about frequency so in frequency you you add okay that's silent and, and, and two violet okay higher higher not two violet higher than violet in frequency right higher than violet and, and these are not visible to you okay these are not visible to you because they are beyond that visible band right this is this is ultraviolet and and these are x-rays from here to here it is an x-ray as as you must have realized by now as we are moving to this and we have heard that ultraviolet ultraviolet rays are responsible for skin cancer right and they are thought to be absorbed by by your 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 ozone layer right which we the intelligent ones have been able to erode by by using the chlorofluorocarbons as as refrigerants okay fine and in aerosols so 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 and, and followed by that so as you are moving to the left that means as you are increasing your frequency we will soon see that that the, the 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 energy of a photon is given by e is equal to h nu when go to, when you go to the particle nation flight and as the frequency goes up the energy of the photon starts going up okay so as we are moving to the left of us that means we are moving to the higher and higher higher and higher frequencies of the spectrum this will start becoming deadlier so x rays are deadly rays okay Though they are used as diagnostic tools in in in, uh, in our um, medical field, but still they are not good. Y your body should not be exposed to the X-rays beyond a certain point. Okay, and, and absolutely these gamma rays, though they are also used to demolish the cancer cells, they are also deadly. Okay, and in a nuclear explosion, you have these X-rays and gamma rays in such abundance. And it is these rays which actually are, are so damaging. Okay. So gamma rays and beyond this, beyond the gamma rays, we have, beyond the gamma rays, we have the hard gamma. Here we have the hard gamma. That, that is not shown here as you go, go ahead. And they are so deadly that if they fall on us, they are capable of mutating your DNA. Okay, the whole protein structure of the DNA gets mutated. So much so that now you are genetically reprogrammed in a weird way. Okay. So the children who were actually exposed, the, 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 the parents of the children who were exposed to the, to the nuclear radiations while, uh, while, while the nuclear explosion of Hiroshima and Nagasaki happened, they are still being born deformed. Okay. So, so they, are, they are so damaging to us. Okay, 
as we go to the lower side they they are not as damaging as 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 these are fine so this is the whole electro electromagnetic spectrum that we are talking about and the wave nature of any electromagnetic wave that you see right fine